but I can't. I'm pretty sure it's September right now or close to September. It's nowhere near September yet. We, we, we got a few more days before September, a whole week before September. And I'm wearing long sleeve, long sleeve inside. That means it's cold, you know. So, man, I tell you, I Montana is beautiful, but I don't think I could ever live here. I just don't think I could. But on this session, we played a, our first session we played, uh, of course, at Caesar's Palace. We love Caesar's Palace. You know, you know this channel loves Caesar's Palace. Well, probably not the channel itself, but me, myself. Anyway, but we're in the rest area right now. Check this out, though. It's like, ain't nothing but campers up in here. It's crazy. I feel like I'm in a, I'm in a campground or something. But we played at Caesar's Palace. It was a good game, real good game. I loved it. It was a, it was a tough game, believe it or not, for a one-two. There was a, there was a lot of people in there that were uh, mixing it up. So let's talk about these hands, right? <laughs> straddle on on the button and big blind calls the five dollars early position calls the five dollars so we went ahead and check our option i thought about i thought about popping it here but just go ahead and you know, gonna go check it here so we check it and the flop came all spades with a six so the big blind bets ten dollars early position calls and we call and the turn came off suit ace that's a pretty decent flop for us. Um, now we got two pairs, but there's three spades out there though, so it's uh, not a good, not a good situation for sure. So big blind bet twenty dollars, and then early position makes it sixty. Ah, that's a tough spot. That's a really, really, really tough spot. I. I think I got a little bit greedy here. I really did. So I I know we got we 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 got two pairs and the the only thing we really got to worry about here is really a flush and did he really hit a uh trips here? I don't think he did. So but we went ahead and called. So we called the 60 and then the big blindfold. So the reason for my call is I wanted the big blind to come along. I uh for some reason I I wanted to play a bigger pot, so, so I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why I should have. I should have re-raised here. I should have re-raised here and get it all in here, or, or, or maybe just re-raise. I have both of them covered. So, but uh, and then the river came a jack of spades. So now we're in trouble. Now we're in trouble. But we can represent this jack though. He's uh, he's not representing a flush on the flop and. The ace peeled on the turn, which is an offsuit ace, and he led on that ace. So uh, he's representing the ace. So what is he trying to tell me here? Is he trying to tell me that he he hit the flush and did a late uh, late lead? I don't know. So anyway, he bets fifty, which is a little low, and it's 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 below his stack. It's like his he. After he bets uh, 50 on the river, he had like 80 behind and bets 50. So sick, man. So I made it 100. I wanted to see if he can call off all his chips. Because if I got two pairs, I know I'm beat by one spade card. But 
he wasn't really representing spades though. So I I made it a hundred and he thought about it for a second and he makes the call. It was a good call. It was a good call. He had a low spade. That's crazy. He had a really low spade. He makes the call. Ah I mean he got thirty dollars behind I guess. I guess he's 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 a little off. I should have had it all in. Oh greed. Greed gets to you man. Anyway, we lose that hand. So this next hand, we got the straddle on. We're under the gun. Mid position, makes it 12. Player next to him makes the call, and everybody else falls. So we defend from our, <laughs> we call it the big blind, or the button. <laughs> Might as well be the button, right? Pre-flop, at least. So we defend, and we call. And the flop came all diamonds with an ace of diamond. Pretty good flop for us. So we check with the intention of check raising here. That was my whole intention, was to check race. So... Um, original Razor makes it 15 and player next to him makes it 50. Now, this seemed like a flush draw to me and I think I can get him off this hand. <laughs> so and if we get it in bad, at least we got a pretty good draw. We got, we got the king high flush draw, you know. So, or ace, I mean it's still the ace high, but you know, we got the king. So. He makes it 50, and we think about it for a second, and shoved all in. Now, my last shove all in was a six, and it was a bluff, or it, uh, there was four spades out there. So we shoved all in with a six, two pairs. So uh, did he really put that in consideration? I don't know. He thought about it for a second, for a long time, and finally makes the fold. So we'll, we're happy to take the fold here. So, uh, it's a good thing it wasn't a snap call, or else we would have been in trouble. Poor guy is forced to sit there and wait. Look at him. <laughs> so, we're up here at, uh... Montana, Billings, Montana, taking us a little break, and when we have a uh, snack break, coffee break, or whatever kind of break. But first, take a look at this guy, man. You think you got some stacks on your truck? I don't know. They look like they're about 12 foot wide. <laughs> Diameter wise, that's those are huge, man. Uh, no. So, break time, and then we're gonna continue finishing up talking about these hands, right? So this is the next hand, we got King Queen of Hearts. Call, we call it $11 from a hijack opener and three players come along. The flop came, Queen 4-7 Rainbow. We check, original Razor bets 15. We call, early position calls. The turn came, nine of hearts. Now we got two hearts on the board. So that's a pretty good card for us. For some reason, all of these cards, they're a really good card for us, so. <laughs> so I check with the intention of check racing. I don't know. I hope that's not becoming a pattern. So anyway, we check and early position checks and original razor bets 20. Good spot for us. This is what we wanted. So we wanted to charge him for whatever it is he's betting on. So we make it 60 and mid position folds and he thought about it for a second and eventually folds so ah tough spot. unfortunately i thought he had something there anyway the very the very very next hand i mean i'm talking like the 
hand right after we have king jack of spades and we have the straddle on we got five dollar straddle on the button we defend from a fifteen dollar race in the middle and small blind calls and the flop came h45 rainbow we got position though we got position so it checks around and the turn came at eight and then he checked to me, so I mean, we got to stab at it here, right? We got to take a stab at it. So we bet 35, and the tight player, which oh. <sighs> small blind, he makes the call, so that's not a good sign. So, and uh, original razor folds, and the river came another ace. So he checks to me, and I don't think we. We should be betting here and sure enough we did not bet and he had ace 10 so it was a good thing we didn't bet so <laughs> we save ourselves some money there so we lose that pot so this next one we got pocket nines and we are in the small blind we open it to twelve dollars and five callers uh the blinds fold and the flop came king high flop i didn't take notes on this one so it was king high flop and we check mid position checks and then late position bets 35 so with a king high flop ah, it's gonna be too tight to fold so we went we went ahead and called the 35 and I was hoping that everybody else would just come along and we'll see a turn card no <laughs> mid position re raise it to 120 and late position original razor calls and we can't call no 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 chance we can call there uh, the 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 check raise the check raiser put his put put his whole stack at risk when he check raised because he only had 200 behind with 120 120 so no we can't call there so we folded and good thing we folded the check raiser had ace king and caller late position caller had queens and the run out came <laughs> It was like uh, a low card on the turn, and it was... I, we didn't make trips, though. But it was a low card on the turn, and <laughs> Queen came on the river. Ooh, sick. <laughs> so sick. So, uh, it's a good thing we folded. So, that was it. Look at this. Look look at all that mess, man. Look at all that mess. <laughs> That's a whole lot of mess. But that was it. That was the end of this session. Um, I gotta say, it was a pretty doggone good session. Why? Because... I have never seen so many people playing on a one-two table that bluffs all I mean it, so many people bluffing on a one-two table in one session so sick man it was so sick it was a good game um, we were in it for six hundred dollars because of that first few hands that were stupid moved by us but that's okay um, we were in it for six hundred dollars and we cashed out for what 621 a whopping $21 profit hey you know what that's okay it's still a profit though we're still on the black or on the green however you want to look at it at least it's not the red shout out to the dealers and shout out to uh, Caesar's Palace Entertainment that was uh, they, they they always welcome our presence there so I love that and shout out to them so till next time don't forget hit the like button subscribe button and maybe the bell button but you don't have to but you don't have to hit the thumbs up button you can hit the thumbs down button just comment down below and let me know what you don't like or what you like until next time we'll see you later